Hello, my name is Wayne Cookson and I work at the studio as a tutor with the Adult Creative Writing Group and the Kids 7 to 11 group and I thought I'd speak to you about my experiences with both of these groups during lockdown. Uh, when it was first announced that the studio would be closing, I, like everybody else, was devastated. I wouldn't be able to see any, uh, not just my groups, but the people who work there. Um, but Louise made it clear from the start that we're just going to carry on. And in fact, I had to do things even better than before. So I carried on setting lessons. Uh, they're online and I sent them out through Gmail and each week they would get a task and uh, a starter and they'd also get a lateral thinking question which you might have seen on the studio and the kids would get the same so I started sending them out at first it was a bit of a slow start and I think everybody was a bit worried and they're all getting a bit used to lockdown but it soon started trickling in uh, at this point I have to say from the adult group, Paula Page, and from the kids groups, uh, Corinne and Elke, um, they really kind of kick-started this for me. Right from the start, they've sent work in, and they've carried on doing it, and we've now had 17 tasks, um, and they've been fantastic, as has everybody, but a special mention to them. Um, so the work trickled in at first, and then we started doing the studio, started doing audio stories, which I would help put together, whereby my writers would read their work, and then it'd be lockdown literature audio story. And then something quite magical happened. Um, all of a sudden, we had more work coming in from the adults, more work from the kids, and better than that, we had new members joining. Um, five in fact for the adult group and then the work started piling in work left right and centre loads of stories from the adults loads of stories from the kids and I started doing zoom sessions with them so that I could see them and they went down really well I think um, obviously the studio started doing those first and Louise would meet up with us and she encouraged us to meet up with our group so that was really nice a nice supportive thing to do so I'm just going to show you just a quick glimpse of some of the work. I'll just share the screen with you now. Okay, so that is the lockdown literature. That's the 7 to 11 group. And if I can just come out of there, you can see there's the 7 to 11 group. And this is the adult group. Whoa, look at all those. Look at all of those stories, poems other bits and pieces and there's the kids absolutely tons of work and if I just mention at this point that the 67 adult stories and 27 children's stories yeah so 67 from the adult writing group 27 from the 7 to 11 group which is just staggering and I wasn't sure whether it would take off at all so to have results like that is quite amazing so I'm going to stop showing that and I'm going to just briefly um, show you some of the audio stories. I'll just share this page with you. Boom. So here we are and you can see other work here too from the studio, other fantastic work like Tambourine Talks, there's Georgina doing art space, and there's Dave doing board and busters. Don't know who likes scary man is. Um, but here we have some stories, Stephen Dignall, the perfume lover, 19 minutes. Richard Bradshaw, The Routine, 27 minutes. David Ball, The Deadly Partner, 15 minutes. And all these audio stories just started pouring in. There's David again, Richard again. Fantastic. Neil, yeah. So really just fantastic work. And it's all been quite an experience. I have to say, it's made my life bearable in lockdown. Because at the beginning, when the work come in it seemed very slow but then the work started coming in and it's made my life um, joy really to just see all this fantastic talent from Holton writing and working away and being really passionate about the stuff that they create so the studio is going to compile a book that's the last thing I'm going to say to you studio is going to compile a book I think it's going to be called lockdown literature going to have stories from the adults, stories from the kids, it's all 
kids. It's also going to have a poetry section. There's going to be illustrations from the art group. Um, it's going to be really, really exciting. And last of all, I would like to thank all of the authors who've contributed um, to lockdown literature throughout lockdown, both young and old. It's been absolutely fantastic to work with you.